Well, good evening, gang, and welcome to It's All About Arts. My name is Glenn Williams, and I'm your host. And to my right and to your left, of course, is Julia Purchaseppi. Hello, Julia. How are Hi, you? Hi, good. How's everything going? Good. I want to remind everybody that we are coming to you live from our beautiful studios here at BNN TV, and you're more than welcome to join us if you'd like. We're at 617 708 3290. Dave and the great staff of BNN are in the other room answering the phones. So, why don't you give us a call and let us know what's going on? Yeah. You know, we've got a great show tonight. I'm, I'm very so excited, excited about tonight. Yes. Get them out of the studio. We're going to take the a street. We're going to take it to the <laughs> road yeah. tonight. Uh, we're very excited about it. Uh, the, the United South End uh, uh, Artist, is it Coalition? Organ what is it? Art Association? United? United South End, United United South End, South End Artists are Bam. here. And they are the inaugural uh, group that's being shown in the BNN TV art gallery out in the halls here. And we are very, very uh, uh, fortunate to have some people here that are going to sit and talk a little bit about the Art Association. Then we're, just, <laughs> we're going to get up and go check it out. So we're, um, we're very excited about that. Yeah, so. it's going to be fun. How are you? I'm good. How was your week? Okay? Yeah. This week's going to be busy, a little um, abnormal. We have uh, a conference at the end of the week, the Society for Visual Anthropologists, which is like some of our main peeps. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that should be really fun. Get to know some of the new filmmakers uh -huh. and meet some of the old filmmakers. And, That's pretty um, exciting. Yeah, and it's usually not in Boston, so we're so excited that it's yeah. here and we're just going to go hang out and, yeah. Well, that sounds like fun. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, you're, a be you're back in the swing now from your... Yeah, pretty much. From your hiatus. Back in it. Yes, my hiatus. We're glad to have you back. I went, went back over the show that you weren't here. And I actually seemed a little lost. It was, <laughs> it was very unsettling. I keep you in place. <laughs> Somebody, oh, thank you. <laughs> no. Somebody needs to. I don't. The staff does. Um, I want to remind everybody out there that uh, uh, upcoming, their meeting and everything, the Rosendale Village Main Streets group is meeting, and they are putting together this year's Farmer's Market in Rosendale Square. And I'm t I am to tell you that the location has been changed because... They are renovating Adams Park. Wow. They are dropping a big bunch of coin into renovating and resorting, and not resorting, replanting the grass, redesigning the whole park. That's great. Yes. So we're very, very happy and fortunate for that. But what it does is it displaces the farmer's market wow. out of our fantastic space to the parking lot up by the train station. So if you know where the Rosendale Village train station is, the, the, the purple line mm -hmm. will be there every Saturday to the foreseeable future, starting in just a few weeks. So the, everything's going to be the same. I mean, yeah. there's going to be still all of the great vendors and the live music that we put on and the kids' events and all that stuff. It's just that the location is shifting, so we don't want people to miss us. Yeah. So we're making sure that we let them know. I'll spread the word. What's going on. Please do. Yeah, that'll be good. Uh, we also want to let you know that if you want to drop us a tweet, mm -hmm. you can tweet us at... It's all about art. <laughs> Coming up, yes. And also, tonight's oh, wait, show yeah, will be it. on um, on YouTube tomorrow night yeah. at this time. So this time tomorrow night, you're going to be able to watch this very, very show on YouTube at It's All About Arts 1 is the name of the station there. So we're, uh, we're, we're, we're spreading our, our social media out a little bit more to yeah. allow people to... I've heard some people say, I've always wanted to call in, but I'm a little bit nervous. Well, now you can send us a... Yeah. A, a little tweet and let us know exactly what you think of what's going on. Yeah, we had one artist, a filmmaker, tweet us about her project, mm -hmm. and we mentioned it on the show, so it's a great way to spread the word about what you're working on. Cool. Um, yeah, so do it. We'll actually say something. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, no, we will. There's, yeah, you'll be part of, part of what we're doing here. And the reason why we're here is, is to promote the arts in the city. And we're so fortunate and lucky that uh, BNN TV has this amazing streaming for, uh, capability here. So we have people that are watching us uh, all, all over the country. Uh, we have people that have been sending us emails from as far as Portland, Oregon. People have been getting online there because there was somebody on the show a year ago that, they, um, that was part of their organization and they started watching the show and now they've kind of become, you know, likers of the show is that, is that fair to say likers of the show sure likers of the show so um 
If you go to www, if, you, if there's someone outside of the city that you want them to see this show, you go to www.bnntv.org and click on what's playing right now, and we will miraculously show up on the screen. What else is new? Anything? Uh, um, I'm just, you know, enjoying the nice weather. It's, it's finally, finally turned. turned. Around, yeah. Um, so getting outside, being active, right. um, yeah, doing some collaging and Good. cooking and, you know, cool. just being creative. Are you a cook? I do like to cook. Yeah? I consider it an art. It is. It most <laughs> certain, there's, there's no question about that. Yeah. Uh, um, we can have a whole conversation of, about what that. What kind of cook are you? A good cook? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, they do, do sauces um, and you do, you know, salads. Uh, I do, well, I'm a vegetarian. I don't know if I've ever mentioned that before. I um, did not know that. <laughs> I did not know it's that. It's out. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm a vegetarian, so I guess I would specialize in vegetarian cooking. Mm -hmm. um, although I do cook meat from time to time and fish. Um, but uh, For I... For someone else. Yeah, for somebody else. But okay. my specialty is um, homemade pasta and sauce. Oh, you know, oh, you make pasta. Yeah, and sauce. I took cooking classes in Italy, and so I learned how to make all these amazing. Every week, I'm learning <laughs> something. This is fantastic. Yeah, so I love to cook, and it's um, yeah. Well, okay, dinner at Julia's house. It sounds, <laughs> like, it sounds like a great idea. Uh, well, that's great. Listen, you know what we're going to do is we're going to move right along. Yeah. Uh, I do want to take a couple of minutes to talk a little bit about the great organization that, that supports us here at BNN TV, uh, the Boston Main Streets organization. Boston Main Streets is a volunteer-driven organization that helps revitalize business districts around the city of Boston. There's about 19 of them around here, but there's thousands of them around the country. And way back in 84, 85, when the now retired mayor, the great mayor of the city of Boston, Tom Menino, was the city councilor in our District 5. He brought to uh, Rosendale Square a uh, 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 little known and uh, very not well practiced uh, program called Main Streets. And what they, it was the very first one in the country on an urban setting was in Rosendale. Rosendale Square was this very, very dilapidated and dangerous place that you would not go to hang out after the lights were on. Uh, and in the time that they have been working there, here's what they do. They work with the property owners to get the right demographic information to that guy so he'll know what kind of, or that woman, so they'll know what kind of business to put in their storefront downstairs. Once the business is done, it is a committee that kind of gathers and helps them design it. So it looks cool, helps them with the signage out front. I, you know, I mean, professional architectures and designers and stuff. And in fact, they'll even help with the money to pay for that sign if you promise to take the grate down. Everybody knows those greats are there, and they're there because you've invested your entire family's fortune in this startup business. But the studies show, and Rosendale's proof, that once the greats come down, people start respecting their community and their neighborhood much more, better, and things just don't get broken. So they do that. They help you with that. And then there is the promotions committee that comes along and puts on events like the Farmer's Market, the Taste of JP, uh, the South End Open, whatever. Those kind of things are all partnered with the Main Street program. And they help things get, uh, they help revitalize the business districts. And they've kept us on the air now these low 16 years into this uh, 16th season. And we need to thank them very much all the time. So if you see an event going on someplace and you see someone in a Main Street's jacket, thank them because they're a volunteer. And they're only doing it because they love their community as much as you do. So that being said, Next is this beautiful building. Now, you've been here a little while. What do you yeah. think of this place? I love it. Isn't it a great spot? I want to, like, take out the studio and put my apartment in here. <laughs> <laughs> Just make a little home for myself. Well, this building is the, it used to be the power station for the MBTA yeah. when the power, the orange line it used to come down Washington Street from Forest Hills to downtown. And this was where the power station was. Big generators, rrr, big dirty place and stuff like that. And uh, about six years ago, Main Street, um, about six years ago, BNN TV came along and renovated this with the help of some great partners. Urban Edge was involved, the city of Boston was involved, and they renovated this place and put in two state-of-the-art television studios and a beautiful Timothy Smith lab, computer lab on the first floor where people can do editing and all of that kind of thing. This is where you get to come and do television programming as a citizen, as a member of this community. Uh, you come here, if you have a nonprofit, you want to 
get out and you want people to know about your nonprofit, this is the place to come. You'll come here and you'll do a, a show with the great David in the office and, or, and his great staff. You'll come and bring your guests here and you'll talk about your nonprofit. You'll get out what your mission statement is. You'll make sure you have the right guests sitting next to you here and come here and do that programming. And it's live so people can call. Uh, on the other side, channel 29, I mean 23, you're watching right now channel 9. 23 is where if you become a member for very, very inexpensive money, you get to take Final Cut Pro classes, learn how to use these amazing cameras, all lighting classes, sound, how to do shoots out in the community, and you get to sign out this amazing equipment, go and shoot the Little League game, come down to the Timothy Smith laboratory downstairs, edit it up so your kid looks great, and put it on TV. That's what BNN TV is all about. It's an opportunity for you to learn how to do programming, how to do television programming. Heck, we have some of the great interns here in our studio today from the different colleges around the area and around the world have come to learn about television right here at BNN TV. So if you go to www.bnntv.org, click on Janice Williams' name. She's the manager of the of, um, of membership and what goes on in here. She has all the information for you. You too can come and join us to do some television programming. So that is that being said, and and that's where we stream live from that yep. same station, that yep. same address. Yeah, imagine that. <sighs> imagine that. Yeah, that was a lot to get out. That was a lot to get out, but I, I got it out, and yeah. uh, I've had a lot of practice doing doing it. So uh, I'm very excited about tonight's show. Yeah, let's get you know, to it. I think we're going to get we're going to try and get. You have a Julia's World. I don't do. We? Yeah. We have a Julia's World to do, and then we're going to be uh, be. Um, Meeting somebody from, from the United South End Artists, mm -hmm. uh, Hope Ricciotti, is here in the studio. She's going to come and join us. I can already hear some commotion out there, Hope. I hear, I hear some folks that have arrived. And uh, what we'll do is we're going to take a quick break for just a couple of seconds, get Julia set up for Julia's World. Listen, you are watching over here. You are watching BNN TV's It's All About Arts. My name is Glenn Williams. This is Julia Perciuseppe. And we'll be back in just a couple of minutes. Look, folks, do not go away. You don't want to miss this. Thank you.
Three, two, one. Well, thank you very much for hanging in there, gang. My name is Glenn Williams. You're watching BNN TV's It's All About Arts. We're coming to you live from Studio B here at uh, our great, our great, great, great uh, television station here in Eggleston Square. I want to remind everybody that this show will be on YouTube this time tomorrow night at It's All About Arts 1 is the station. And if you want to drop us a tweet and give us an idea of what's going on, or make a suggestion for the Great Julia's World segment, you can do that by getting us at Twitter at It's All About Arts. And right now, it's my great, it's time, once again, for Julia's World. Take it, Julia. <laughs> Welcome to Julia's World. Woo, we got some music going here. Um, first, I just want to mention, I think I mentioned this before, the Independent Film Festival of Boston is coming up. 23rd through the 30th. Uh, you can check out the schedule. It's now posted on their website, iffboston.org. This music is amazing. Um, and tickets go on sale in two days, April 9th. So um, you can get tickets for individual films, or you can get a film badge. And my organization, Documentary Educational Resources, is going to be um, working with the uh, festival to put on some events, um, a filmmaker event, and then the Saturday night um, party, which will be at Sabor's in Davis Square. And the films are at Somerville Theater, um, Coolidge Corner, I believe, and one other, which is slipping my mind. But anyway, go on the website and check it out. Um, there sh should be some really good films. Second, um, this is just something that I want to mention because I've passed it in the last couple of months and as a fan of street art, I just thought I should let everybody out there know. Um, in Roxbury, off Washington Street, there's something called Bartlett Yard, um, which is um, the largest collection of Boston street art in the city. Um, and it's a former bus yard that is being redeveloped um, into um, residences and retail areas um, and they did last year host community events there um, but I have a feeling that it's going to be torn down very soon so go check it out before it is torn down. Um, third I want to mention the Bufu Fest, B-U-F-U, Bufu or B-U-F-U, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, is um, a local record label um, you can check them out at bufurecords.com. Um, and they are holding a festival on April 25th and 26th at the Cambridge Elks Lodge. Um, and they're all local bands. There's going to be about 20 of them um, over two days. Um, and it should just be a whole lot of fun. Um, so go check that out. And last, I just want to mention real quickly, Thursday, April 17th at 12.30 p.m. I know it's in the middle of the day, so it might be hard for some of you to get to it. But at Babson College, um, Pedro Alonso, which is a local curator who's done a lot of things at the ICA, um, the Worcester Art Museum, among others, is going to be at Babson College and doing something called Arts and Business Conversations. And I think it's really important for artists to be business savvy. So if you're an artist who's looking to gain some knowledge about that, go check it out. He's probably a great person to talk with. Um, and that's all I've got for this week. So back to you, Glenn. Thank you so much. Thank you for 
B-U-F-U. That's very, very interesting. Uh, Bufu, maybe a couple of Northeastern University students came up with that, but yeah. maybe not. Uh, we're not quite sure. But listen, gang, it is my great pleasure and, and honor to introduce you to, uh, to Hope Ricciotti. Hello, Hope. How are you? Hi, Glenn. Welcome to the studio. Thanks for having me. Uh, we are so very excited and honored that you are the very first, the South End United artists, the very first artists that are going to be showing in our new... BNN TV Gallery. We're still coming up with a name. We're going to come up with a name <laughs> okay. for this gallery. And, uh, the Glenn I, Gallery? No, no, no. <laughs> they can wait long, long on for that. Uh, but uh, it's, it's, it's a great opportunity, we think, it is. For, for artists to be able to show some of their work. Um, how, is, how was this received over in the South End? Uh, oh, we were very excited. Uh, the United South End Artists Association is... Um, one of the oldest and the largest uh, arts organization in the city. Oh. And we were around when you were talking about Main Streets. Yeah. And, you know, we were the artists that kind of gentrified the area a little to yes. begin with. We yes. were the first step in changing how the area was. And um, a lot of us in the south end, my studio is in the district called the SOA district, yeah, which Sower is, is uh, right. south of Washington. Amazing. And so we're very excited to have this kind of opportunity to promote the organization. That's and good. You know, I played at the SOA festival they have on Saturdays. Oh, yeah, the yeah. They stuck me under a tent over by the <laughs> farmer's market, turned me up nice and loud. <laughs> it was great. It's such a great area for us. It is. You it know, is. I mean, uh, it's nice to have sections of the city that we actually call, when you say it, someone goes, oh, yeah, those artists. <laughs> you know, that whole Harrison Avenue section yeah, there. It's great. Tell me some of the things that the United so uh, South End artists do. What kind of things do you guys have well, besides our, the SOA deal? Our largest event is the Open Studios in September. This year it's September 20th and 21st. Um, we're going to have a preview evening on Friday, the 19th of September. And it's an opportunity for everybody to just come to the South End mm. and everyone's studios are open. It's incredible. We have transportation, um, trolleys that are provided by That's the city. Yeah. We have uh, food vendors and entertainment and it's just a great weekend. You know, Open Studios across the city has, has turned into such an amazing oh, artistic huge. event. Um, Janice and I started the one in Rosendale and yeah. we've been working on, on that one for, for a few years and I remember when it, it was everyone had a weekend. Now you kind of share weekends sometimes. It's become you so do. popular. You know, no one wants to share so, and no one wants to share with JP. It's one of those, you know, <laughs> you kind of pick and choose where and when you're going to be showing. I, I, I hope, are you an artist as well? I am. I am. Now, I, I love to ask this question of artist guests that are on. If there was a pull-down menu on a website someplace that you're designing, and you had limited kinds of topics or limited things to pick from, out of the general kind of what people consider themselves, what kind of artist, besides great, <laughs> what kind of artist could you put in there as your Well, I'm primarily genre? a figurative artist. I work traditionally in oils, I'm, um, but I also do some installation art. I have a piece of mine at Lesley University right now. Very exciting. And um, a lot of my work is based on Armenian history. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Are you Armenian? I am. That's, oh, that works out well, doesn't it? Yeah. That's good. Uh, how old, now, now, how does someone get in touch with the, let's say I'm an artist, you know us artists, we <laughs> sit in our basement, we paint beautiful pictures, and we put them in the corner, and we start over again. Uh, if someone's watching tonight, how would someone in your area get in touch with you guys? Well, the easiest thing is to go to our website. We're at unitedsouthendartist.org, and you can even do a membership right online. Uh, the only prerequisite is that you either live and or work in the South End, mm -hmm. and um, I, in fact, don't live in the South End, but I do work there. Okay. Do you have a gallery there? I have a studio. Okay, good. <laughs> so you have a dedicated space? I do. I um, do. When, you're, when you're painting and, and you're working, you work in oils primarily, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, they've got to set up, they've got to dry, they've got to do this. So you work on, I'm imagining, I'm answering questions I should be asking. <laughs> do you work on more than one piece at a time? Uh, generally, yes. Yes, you do. Yes. Now, do you set an atmosphere for yourself? I mean, is, oh, is yeah. talking heads on the radio? And Music is very important. That's good, I'm glad. Yeah, you know, <laughs> very Well, my son's a musician, so I'm not going to get around that. <laughs> Do you listen to his work? Absolutely. Oh, that's Absolutely. great. Absolutely, yeah. Julie is an artist as well, too. She does uh -huh. 
decoupage assemblage type things. Nice. Yeah. She's very good. She brought a couple of pieces in for us. Excellent. I don't consider myself a professional. See, uh, this is a problem that we had. This, we've, <laughs> that's one of the things I've known about her from the beginning. It's a hobby. But it's very good, though. I think that it's... It, it, yeah. What is your... When somebody gives you that, oh, I'm not good enough, or it's only crafty, or... Oh, you know, you if you know, work at it. age-old thing. When does it become a, you know... Well, for me, I became a professional when Uncle Sam decided I was an artist by trade. <laughs> yeah. So that's what I put on my tax exactly. form, so I'm a professional. <laughs> but um, I don't believe you. You were an artist long the, before that. <laughs> the majority of my day is spent making art, promoting art, mm -hmm. working with arts organizations. I work with a lot of nonprofits. So. What's your gig? What do you, what do, you do? What else? Yeah. Um, one of the big times that I spend is with Violence Transformed, mm -hmm. which is an organization that um, does events throughout the year, art events, mm -hmm. and both visual and performing arts. And they're um, to bring light to the transformative power of art and when it pertains to violence in the community. Well, so thank we, you for that. Yeah, yeah we, we do a lot of great work. I'm really proud of it. That's tough gallery space, though. Yeah. It is. I mean, it's, it's uh, you know, people say, well, I like art to make me feel. Well, it's supposed to make you feel, you know. Well, a and lot of this is very hopeful, so. That's good. I'm glad. I'm yeah. glad to hear that. Back back to the, the to the Glen, not the Glen I'm sorry. Now, see what you've got stuck <laughs> in my see? head here? Uh -oh. Back to, I love your creatives. Back to the BNN Gallery. Um, when you put the word out and said, you know, the BNN is planning to do this, um, did you get a great response? Of, of we artists? did. We did. We were, we were very excited. Um, and I think anything that can help promote everyone in the, in the South End is just wonderful. And I also believe that artists need to all band together yeah. because it's hard enough being an artist with. Yeah. So we need to support one another, and I think it's a great thing. Well, you know, I think we've talked about it long enough. You know? Yeah. Um, want to go look at some work? Want to go look at some work? <laughs> do, you? do you? David, are we ready to go out there, do you think? Okay, yeah. You know, we don't, let's, go, let's go take a walk. Let's go take a walk. We're going to take a walk over here. <laughs> Watch us. We're going to go out here. Hope. I'll don't try fall. not to fall down. Please don't. Come on out here. <laughs> and hello, everybody. Hello. Hi. How are you? Tell us a little bit about some of the pieces that we have here to look at. Uh, this is by Edie Bowers. Edie Bowers. And Edie and both Edie and Arlene uh, Greenspan yeah. were the previous heads of the United South End Artists and did a fabulous job for a number of years. Um, currently, um, myself and Lazaro Montano are the co-chairs. Now, you, you, have, you have, this is painting and and, and I think paper. it's mixed media. Mixed media, yeah. so mixed media, we have photography yeah. as well. Um, yeah. You've been here for a while, Julia. Have you picked out a piece that you like the best? I have. Let's make our way down here a little <laughs> bit. Let's see. I like this one, Jen Matson. We're going to be talking to yes, Jen in a couple of minutes, aren't we? Why don't we come back to this one? Let's take a look down here. Hi, everybody. Hello. Make some noise now. How are you? <laughs> We're live and, all, live and on TV. Yeah. This is one of my favorites yep, here. Yeah. Yeah. These, these also. are the ones that That's we're... Arlene. She... There's Arlene. Arlene. There's Arlene. Thank you, Arlene. Hello. Uh, trombone Shorty is one of my... I love Trombone <laughs> Shorty. <laughs> a lot of people know Trombone. Isn't that a great piece? Uh, and, and I know someone who's interested in that. I'll get your card from you because they want to talk to you. Cool. Now, this is, this is a beautiful... And this is one that Janice and I were looking at. And we, when, oh, we, when we hung the show, we said, is this amazing? Yeah, that's Just a the leaf. Soft There's feeling. a leaf right there. A leaf, leaf, come here, leaf. This is beautiful. I, so loved, I love this piece. It's just so soft. Isn't it great? It is. And a leaf organized this whole connection with the United South End Artists. Well, so thank you very much for doing that. She put together all the artists. No, this, is been, this has been a lot of fun. And uh, uh, now I, want, I do want to talk about, before I get to Jen, <laughs> I do want to meet Jen. This is your piece here. It is. Hope, talk to me a little bit about what we're looking at here. And there's so, dim so much dimension here. Talk to me about Well, it's a, a bit mixed media. So there's, there's some building up of the canvas underneath. And uh -huh. then I painted the surface with oil paint. Yeah. And the topic is about. Um, women in Armenian culture who uh -huh. also teach Oya, which is Armenian lace making. And it's passed down through generations. Mm. So there's like three generations of women who have passed down the art of lace making in the culture. 
And it fits our walls so well. The colors. <laughs> the colors I mean, perfect. We really yeah. kind of did this right, didn't we? And this is David. This is da D David's our manager in our and I had to put this down here. <laughs> this is great. Yeah. I love this piece. Welcome to the art gallery. Yeah. That's great. Isn't that beautiful? Well, I, I hope I want to say thank you so much. Oh, thank you. I for mean, this has us. been great. This has been a lot, a lot of fun to see this. And uh, the inaugural um, show here, I think, is really something that's going to catch on. And we're hoping that a lot more people will, uh, will be involved. I know that we're booked straight through the year, I think. We've got yeah, art associations wonderful. coming wonderful. the first Monday of every month that's for the great. rest of the year. That's it's great. very, very exciting. So. Why don't we move our way back okay. here because I want to find Jen. Jen, yeah. is, Jen is someone I want to speak to. <laughs> Jen, hi. Hi. How are you? Good, thanks. Thank you, you so much for being part oh, of our first for show. Us. This is great. I want to talk to you about your photography, though, if we Absolutely. can. Absolutely. Um, these are very, very beautiful pieces. Thank Boston you. Common is is the is is local. Somewhat, so you'll you'll do stuff locally yes. mostly and stuff. Yep. yep. How, how long have you been? Awesome. How long have you been a, a photo a photog? <laughs> My whole life. Uh, it's been a hobby since I was a kid. Um, I've been in business since 1998. Okay. So I do art shows all throughout the year. I have a gallery in downtown Crossing. A bunch of us. Oh, you do. That's 20, fabulous. It, yep. Um, five of the South End artists and 20 local artists all together. Are in a now, gallery if you've been crossing. if you've been do, been a photographer all your life, you've gone through that digital thing. Now I'm still film. Oh. This is still analog. They're shot on wow. film. I printed them Thank in the you. dark room myself. Yeah. No Photoshop, no filters, no effects. Oh, that's Old crazy. school. Isn't that beautiful? See, now all these photographers we've been, we've, uh, we've been interviewing, none of them have said we've stayed analog. Yeah, good for you. It's hard. <laughs> it's hard. My, they don't make my camera anymore. It's hard to get my film still. It's hard to get my paper because everything is digital. What are you it's, working on? What kind of camera do you have? Uh, have a rolling flex, do you? No. Are you crazy? <laughs> It's a Minolta X370. It's basically like a Pentax K1000. Okay. It's very simple, no autofocus, wow. no no features, um, very basic. Um, but it works. Does what I want it to do. So. Now, when you're not setting when you're, when you're setting up a shot, you must you have to take the lighting into consideration. Yep. It's not snap, 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 snap. Nope. Find the best nope. one. No, nope. and none right? of it's flash. It's all ambient light. So these were taken on a tripod. They're long exposures. It's actually snowing. It's really late. It's like 11 o'clock at night. The, um, it really was a pink sky. I didn't That's fake incredible. that in the dark room or anything. <laughs> um, you don't see people because they're moving. The exposures are probably 30, 40 seconds long. Oh, wow. so, so they've blurred out already. Um, yep, they've walked right through and they don't even show up on the film. There's ghosts in um, it. Yep, yep. This <laughs> one, if you look really That's closely, awesome. you can see the people with the dogs talking. And so you do see some little people in the distance in that one. I see little people. Oh. Well, these are ducks Those over here. The these are our ducks. <laughs> now, yeah. was this on, I'm curious, was this on the same night? Yep, yep. This, this was the, the same, same shoe? Mm -hmm. Quite remarkable. <laughs> That's really, really beautiful. Now, when you, when, you, when you take a shot, when it's time for you to do your photography thing, do you carry a point and shoot around with you anyways? No. Just because you don't um, know you, that all of a sudden that beautiful lighting is there and all of a sudden, you know? I don't. I mean, I have an iPhone. The camera and the iPhone is pretty good. It's in my pocket all the time if something's ah, there. Ah, so really you do it. use digital. Um, but I don't sell them. They're not. <laughs> okay. It's sort of there if no, I no. want to, you know, I'm capture the moment. I'm, I'm being These, I'm going out on purpose. You know, I'm going yeah. out. I'm taking my tripod. I'm going out with my equipment, and I'm going out to shoot. How long so. will the shoot take you if you're, you're working analog? It depends. The, sh the shoot? Yeah. It's all, oh, it depends on, on what I'm doing. This was freezing, so this was, <laughs> I think I made it about an hour that night, or maybe even not that long, because it was really cold. No, but you're not kidding. You, you have to sit and you have to wait for the lighting to be specific mm -hmm. what you're looking for, right? To get that sky that way, and that long of an exposure. They're beautiful. Thanks. Jen, thank you for being part of our, oh, thanks for part of, part of our, our, stu yeah. our open, stu this is our opening gallery yeah. night. I mean, it's it so impressive good. and so exciting to have people here, and uh, we just had to step out and, and, and say <laughs> thank hello. You. Thank you for being part of us. I want to thank you so much for thank coming and being with us it. tonight. This has been a fabulous opportunity for us to get out here and, and check out some of the art. I'm glad some of our artists are here with us yep. and everything. Listen, Hope, good luck. And listen, you. you'll be back when Open Studios gets closer, please. Absolutely. You'll come on and talk yeah. about Open Studio. Let us know all of the ins and outs and where That'd we can find everything. Yeah. I might be, that. I'll let you know if I'm playing at Solver again this year. <laughs> we'll come So watch you'll it. come by <laughs> and, and give me a cold beverage. It'd be right. great. <laughs> listen, gang, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot it back to Julia. Julia's in on the desk. Julia, are you there? I'm here in your spot. 
This is so exciting. How about that? That is such a great time out there. Um, and we want to thank everybody for coming out to the gallery tonight. Um, and I just want to remind people that we're coming to you live from the BNN studio, Studio B, and that you can call in to Dave and the staff, 617-7030. Um, Zero eight three two nine zero. Um, we'll gonna we're gonna be taking a break for just a minute, um, but we're gonna be coming right back. This is it's all about the arts. <laughs> Welcome back, gang. Boy, that, that was very, very exciting. And I want to remind everybody that if you do want to communicate with us, you can give us a call at 617-708-3290, or you can tweet us on uh, It's All About Arts, at It's All About Arts. And we did get a tweet from at, at Bill Mason, Bill, at Bill in Rosendale, asking about the trombone shoddy painting. And we are here to serve you. It's my great pleasure and honor to introduce you to the artist of those, two of those, those beautiful paintings. Arlene Greenspan, hello. Hello, how are you? Very well, thank you so much for coming in. When we were out there for a quick second, um, it's nice to see the work like, like we did, but uh, someone 
focused right in on those two pieces. Oh, I'm happy um, about that. Uh, I, yeah. <laughs> that's always nice for an artist to hear. <laughs> that's, <laughs> it's, that's what it's worth the work. Mm -hmm. um, do you know trombone shot? No. I was gonna ask that too. <laughs> no, no but sorry, I think is taking... that a lot? Is, did you paint that live while he was well, performing? I did take the. I took a picture of okay. him while he was performing many years ago. Actually, I've been following him since he was. Well, not that he's old, but since he's much younger, I always liked him. We go down to uh, New Orleans, yeah, 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 mm -hmm. uh, a fair amount, and so I've been kind of following his career. A good, a good friend of mine, Josh, is a, a friend of mine from the Boys and Girls Club. is a huge trombone shoddy fan. Yeah. That's the cat I was telling you about. That I got to make sure that he good. knows knows about that. What was the medium of those two? That's oil. It's oil mm -hmm. on, on on canvas. canvas. Now, who is the other uh, musician? The guitarist. John Schofield. Oh, really? Yep. You're not fooling around. <laughs> I'm not fooling around. <laughs> uh, it, it's beautiful, beautiful work. And Thank do you, you work from photographs? I do. I, I work a lot from photographs. I work um, plain air also, but mm -hmm. I do take a lot of photographs. And do you mostly paint famous people? or No. no? Those, those two just <laughs> captured your heart. No, I do. I, your heart. Um, yeah, well, I, I'm very much into music, yep. and so I like to do musicians. I do a lot of dancers. Hmm. Um, my daughter is a dancer, so I do dancers. Oh, nice. um, I do a lot of landscapes. I do cityscapes. Nice. Do you have a dedicated space to work? I have a little tiny loft area in my apartment, and that's my space. But you can leave it alone. It's the <laughs> it's, same way you left it. There's a library it. ladder that goes up to it. Oh, that's no one exciting. else goes up there. You can kind of lift up, and <laughs> nobody else can get up there. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, that's fabulous. That yeah. sounds very so exciting. That's my space. Um, are you a musician as well? No, but my son is. Oh, really? What does he play? <laughs> he plays saxophone. All right, I love sax. Oh, nice. Yes. That's great. Yeah. Well, I want, I, it, it, I want to continue, and I think, you know something, I will. What other sizes do you work on? <laughs> I work in... Is that all your sizes? Oh, no, that's tiny. Those are 9 by 12. Mm. I work much larger also. Right, right. 30 by 40 inches. Or, I like that size. Mm -hmm. All different sizes. When you were doing the trombone shoddy painting, were you listening to trombone shoddy? <laughs> I always <laughs> listen to music when I paint, always. Yeah. And a lot of times it's jazz. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Uh, well, do you come back to the same music when you're painting the same picture? Or can it be kind of free form flowing, whatever, you, whatever you're listening to at the time? Oh, I, I change it up all the time. Mm, yeah. yeah. Um, this is, the, I'm going to ask you, the artist, I, I like to ask artists this kind of question. When, when you're developing your website and what have you and stuff, what, what kind of, what genre do you give yourself? Uh, are you a portrait artist? Are you, are you an abstract? Are you a realist? Are you a <laughs> um, I'm more like impressionist. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like a Always lot of color. Yeah, yeah, a lot of color. A lot of, I like loose and a lot of color. That's Bold great. and lively and, yeah. I'm not a photorealist. You no, know. so so there is some there is some uh, when you're working on, on from a photograph there are some liberties that you're, you're absolutely you're, you're if you mm -hmm. saw the photo I take and then the painting that I paint from it it's very different. Mm. Do you carry a point and shoot around with you in case you see that painting or, <laughs> or that face in the subway or something? I do. I have a little tiny camera always in my pocketbook. <laughs> well, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Not your phone. Not my phone. <laughs> you wouldn't know my phone. <laughs> I haven't gone to the you know. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I'm not there yet. <laughs> how, how long does a piece usually take you? Oh, so it depends, but I always tell everybody who asks me that question, 20 years and a few hours. Because Whoa. you couldn't do <laughs> what you do unless you had all the experience. I may not ask, I may wow. not ask that question again because that's I have heard answer. the answer. Yeah, that's a great answer. Yeah. So some things work really fast and it just works and it's like, okay, I'm done. And other things, you know, just take longer. So you've been painting since you were a little kid. Yeah, That's more than good. 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, now I, I'm going to go out on a limb. Did you study at all? No, informal. Good for you. Yep. Good, good. And, and yep. when I say I'm going out on a limb, some, sometimes uh, artists still want to say, oh, I didn't really go to the sub, and I didn't really study this, I didn't study that. And, then, yeah. and there's some, they feel that there's something wrong with that. No, no. I've taken lots of workshops and done yeah. lots of you know, just different things with lots of different artists. Um, Is there that pile in the corner of, oh, what was I thinking? No. You feel good about your work? Yeah, I feel pretty good about my work. <laughs> good, good. How is the South End United Artists um, treating you? 
Well, They're not listening now. They've all left. I was co I was actually co-chair for three years. Oh, I just sorry. stepped down. So hope hope oh. took over. <laughs> oh, I'm, that's great. That's great. And uh, that, yeah, it's it's a great organization. And How is it relinquishing some of that responsibility? <laughs> I can't even tell you how fabulous. <laughs> no, I'm still very involved. Edie and I, Edie Bowers, yeah, um, yeah, my co-chair, yeah. and we've become great friends, and um, we'll still be very involved. So. Yeah, it's hard to get, you can't just give it up. It's like Janice and I, we took a break from, from Rosendale Open Studios, and now we're going <laughs> to crawl in just a little bit at a time, you know, we'll, we'll man the booth, you know, we right, just got to, you right. got to do something. Yeah. When it comes to open studios, do you, sh do you show in your space? No, because my space is in my apartment. So there's a group space. Mm. Where's the group space? Boston Center for the Arts. So we have a. Yep. It's a long. It's a dance studio actually, a long, a, narrow. And we have about. If you have to have a room, right? Why not the Boston Center for the Arts? Exactly. <laughs> We've been very lucky. They've been um, good to us for the last three years. Yeah. We've been in various other places, but um, well, yeah, so it's that's, good. Well, that's fa that's fantastic. Yeah. Listen, I want to thank you. We dragged you in. <laughs> You know, I mean, we looked, at, we looked at the clock and I went, we got a couple of minutes. Let's get, uh, let's get Arlene in here to yeah. talk to no, her my for, pleasure. for a couple of minutes. Thank you for being with us. And listen, we'd love to have you come back and, and talk about when Open Studios comes, you know. Sounds How good. How long were you with the organization as, as co-chair? Three years I was co-chair. Three years. That's, that's a long time, for, especially for your organization. I mean, mm -hmm. there's so much going on. Right. I mean, and you've got all of those gallery spaces to deal mm -hmm. with off of Harrison, down in the SOA area. Yeah, and your events lot. aren't neighborhood events you're drawing people from all over the yeah. state so it's mm -hmm. not it's not like it's just a neighborhood block party right, you guys right. throw no it's a big job yeah yeah it is and, and, it, and it takes a lot out of you and um, um, thank you for the work that you do you're people welcome. we don't get an opportunity often to thank someone after the fact it's, they're into it already <laughs> you know you don't thank them yet but thank you for your dedication to the arts here in the city of Boston it's you're been very very, very and you can tell that the, that you're you're working with fabulous artists and fabulous people working with you. Right? Yes, absolutely. Thank you again for uh, waiting for taking Thanks. a break. Listen, we're going to take <laughs> we're going to take a quick quick break, and then uh, um, uh, what's her name and I, Julia and I are going are to close <laughs> the show. <laughs> Sorry. Listen, gang, you're watching BNN TV's. There she is. Yeah. What do you have to say? <laughs> we're watching BNN TV's. It's all about art. We'll be back in just one minute. Please do not go away. Thank you. Well, thanks for hanging in there with us, gang. What a show. Yeah. Wasn't that fun? That was a whirlwind. It was a whirlwind. <laughs> and it's funny because we said, we, we said, this show seems to be a little bit longer. Yeah. I think it's, I, I thought it was going to be all of a sudden we'd be out of, out of time. But we still have a minute or two to, to chat just for a second. Decompress, Decompress. Take it all in. Take it in. Well, how do you think that went? I think it went well. Yeah. I think, um, you know, it's hard to kind of focus when you're in that environment when there's multiple artists yeah. and multiple pieces of artwork. Focus on yeah, just one thing. Yeah, you have to so, navigate yourself through. Yeah. It sometimes is difficult. You know, yeah. I was really, I'm really, I want to a shout out to Hillary. Thank you for coming back and, and helping us on this show. She's an incredible technician uh, and and, for, and camera person who stepped in to give us a hand tonight. Thank you very much for that. Yeah. So what's going on? You know what we're going to do is we're actually going to, we're probably going to break three minutes early, a yep. couple minutes early to give these cats a, a chance to defrag too. Uh, do you have anything coming up this week? 
Um, besides the conference, uh, nope. As part of the conference, there's a screening at Emerson again, not uh, um, not as part of our organization, but it's a it's a film that we fiscally sponsored, um, which is has I have I talked about fiscal sponsorship on the mm, show before? I don't think so. No. Um, give, it a, give it a minute. Yeah. yeah. So it's about um, we have a fiscal sponsorship program at more, my organization where we um, act as the 501c3 for your production company or for you as an individual and so that we can accept donations and grants and foundation money on your behalf. So it's a really great way to fundraise and promote your film um, and we work with about 75 to 100 films um, and you know that are on any stage of production from pre-production, post-production to outreach. Um, and so one of the films that we um, sponsor is being shown at um, Emerson, and it was also in the Whitney Biennial, actually. I oh, saw really? it there, yeah. Um, it's part of this uh, movement, if you will, called Sensory Ethnography Lab, and it's all about, you know, it's really abstract film, kind of experimental almost, where it's all about the senses, and um, it's pretty cool. Hmm. Um, Anyway, it's called Leviathan, um, and I think that's on Thursday night. But and all this information is at your website. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. Thanks a bunch. Yeah, we can talk about that. Yeah. We'll, in more depth. When we get some other time. We we'll get closer to it. Yeah. Listen, gang. Thank you so much for being here with us. Uh, this was a lot of fun. Thank you, BNN TV, for allowing us to be a little crazy tonight. <laughs> uh, it's fun though. It's fun to do that. It's fun to do different kind of TV and uh, and to experiment and see what we can do. Uh, pushing the envelope has always been something we try to do a little bit. Julia, yeah. thank you so much for being thank here. Listen, you. gang, get out and do something artful for yourself this week, please. And like I like to say every week, please keep in the forefront of your minds our mothers, fathers, sons and daughters, aunts and uncles, nieces and nephews on foreign soil. Please get out, do something artful, do it for them. Thank you, South End uh, Artists, United, United, United South, South End, End Artists. Artists. Thank you very Woo. much for being here with us. And we will dig you next time, okay? Bye-bye.